G'day, fellas. Just when I thought Italy was 99% confirmed, this no troll arena, 100% no troll, United States has actually been leaked. So this happened live on stream in the most recent stream that was on Twitch. Essentially what happened is a member of my community, Vividly Plain, came into the chat and he said, Drongo, you've got to check this out. He sent me a link in the chat and it was to a website called SteamDB. Now I've seen this website floating around. I know that updates get posted to it quite often if they're going to be doing any kind of patch or anything like that. There's a bit of action over there. So I was familiar with it, but I'm not 100% sure on how to use the website. Anyway, they renamed a DLC that they put up there called Buffalo to United States Civilization. Obviously, we thought Italy were going to be confirmed. It's now looking almost, uh, well, I, I'm not even going to say almost, 100%. The United States are now confirmed. It's been leaked. What do you guys think? I'm incredibly hyped. I am so hyped for it. I, like, I, I can't even begin to talk about how insane it's going to be, primarily because as a civilization, it is completely unentered territory. We have never had this, like, as a civilization, we've had Native Americans, we've had the Asians, and we had the Europeans. It's got to function on a completely different level, in my opinion. I'm so excited. I'm hoping it's going to introduce a whole bunch of new mechanics. Now, guys, just keep in mind, I am the messenger here, okay? I'm just investigating and reporting on that. Now, if, if you were hoping for Italy, I'm encouraging you, please don't downvote the video because at the end of the day, this is my channel uh, and, and I'm just trying to bring you guys the news. So if you disagree or if you don't want the United States, I encourage you to leave a comment and explain why. For me, as I said, I'm incredibly excited about it because primarily, I think it's going to bring a new way to play the game into a Age of Empires 3, and that's what excites me. We've got nine European civilizations already. I want Italy, don't get me wrong, but I tell you what, I'm more excited about the prospect of the United States. Anyway, I'm going to hand you guys over to Pass Strongo so you can see my reaction in real time, see what actually goes down, and the subsequent investigation that we do, trying to work it out and trying to find out everything that we can about the new civilization. Enjoy. And vividly saying, you don't have to click, you can just copy and paste. What do we got vividly? Let's take a look. I'm just going to push it off stream, off screen, stream. Last recorded update four hours ago. I, I don't really know what this is. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition game. Are you guys seeing that? Are you guys fucking seeing that? Vividly, how did you find that? Vividly, how did you find that? What the heck is... What is this? So this is like the Steam database? Holy fuck! It's 41 minutes ago! Iceland confirmed, says Harrison. Drongo was wrong. Major Folly says it's not official. It's fake Steam website. It's Steam DB, bro. This is like. I want Garja rifles and Garja muskets to be real. I, I, I'm like, I'm confused at this point. I'm like, I'm looking at it. Holy fuck. It was named Buffalo until 41 minutes ago. So do you think Buffalo is the home city then? Because isn't Buffalo... Buffalo, USA. Isn't that a city? Buffalo Wings? Surely it's not New York. Would New York be the capital? Major Foley is also linking one here for Simple Printer. I'm, tr I'm trying to copy it. I'm going to put it in there. I'm just going to move it off stream just because I, I don't want to get uh, a simple primer to Steam's DB. A quick semi-comprehensive guys as to why there's probably more signs of Linux support and game possible possibly works listed on the Linux game page than there needs to be. Steam DB is a third-party tool that listens to the fire hose of data. The regular Steam client is sent. It is not affiliated with Valve or Volvo at all. <laughs> I like it. They call it Volvo. Who's Volvo? Every check is performed automatically unless the crowdsourced dataset has marked games as working, in which case that overrides it. 
Valve's database works by a series of links from the package level. I, I, I'm so torn right now because on one hand, I, I, was, I thought it was going to be Italy and on the other hand, I'm so fucking excited for the United States, man. What the fuck? I can't believe this, man. I'm just like looking at chat to look at vividly and like see what you're saying vividly, man. How are you so ahead of the game with this? Gel sells in the chat saying fucking lol. Well, I, I, I know what this website is. Like I've seen it linked to a lot. Like it, it's like the back end of Steam. Uh, the Jass is always looking at this to see if there's an update that's going to be coming out soon. So the Jass is is one of my uh, is is one of my mods, and he'll always hit me up. He'd be like, "Hey, Drong, I think there's an update coming soon. It's um, th you know, th th something's changed in the back end." So this was apparently called Buffalo. Okay, hold on. We got to record a new video right now, and and like and put put this up to YouTube. Holy shit! Because it, it's not actually Italy. So for anybody who's who's not, what the fuck, man? Am I getting like trolled by the fucking devs? Because like I literally put up that video, I put up a video sa saying, hold on, YouTube here. Let me go to it. Content. I put up a video saying Italy ninety nine percent confirmed. Okay, my my stream title is Italy underscore. <laughs> All right, devs, please stop trolling. Vividly says, I hope this is a troll. That's a good point, actually. It could be a troll. It could be like the April 1st thing. Fitzbro saying hacker things. Oh my God, man. Aussie Drongo says, or Saint Azkul saying, called it the white pants soldiers in historic battles were a giveaway. Yeah, that's a really good pickup. Honestly, because there were a couple people in here saying United States. This could... This could actually be it. This could legit be it. Holy shit, man. I'm so excited. How are they going to do a USA sieve? What is a USA sieve going to look like? Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we got to do. We got plus 20 for that one. So congratulations to the, uh, to the faithful. Uh, let's get that prediction all sorted. Choose the outcome. Will Drunga be victorious in the next game? Yes, he will. There we go. Predictioned. Predictions are done. Uh, okay, so we are going to... No, we're not going to play a ranked game. We're going to go in and we're... Oh my God, you know what? Okay, I have a guy in my Discord. All right, let, let me show you. His name is Sid the Squid. He's, he's actually a YouTuber himself, uh, but he's a little less active than me. Uh, let's see if I can bring that up. Hold on. That's a bloody Whoa. Outrageous. Len, Len, Lena coming in. I want to take this all the way to the Prime Minister. Len, Len, Lena. Thank you very much, mate, for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We are just literally talking about the new civilization. It's actually not Italy. You thought Italy was 99% confirmed? Wrong. You have been misled. It is not. Uh, so if I go Sid the Squid, Sid the Squid... Oh, no, it's Squid the Sid. Squid the Sid. Yeah, Squid the Sid. So he does, like, analysis on, on, on stuff. Uh, he, he, like, analyzes stuff really deeply. So he did a mod for um, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, um, which I, I played along with him. I actually recorded some footage for it, uh, but we never really got to release it just because the mod kind of got, got killed just because uh, of the way that, um, like, updates are being released. And anyway, he said, if there's going to be a new civilization, it's probably going to be America because most of America has already been finished. He said that, like, realistically, if you're going to make an American civilization, you can pretty much already do it. Evolution saying there's already a USA Civ in the campaigns. Yeah, there's already a USA Civ in the campaigns. And you know what else there is? There's also a, a USA revolt. Uh, a whole lot of love. Speed always wins. Let's go check out. I want to check out every single one of their units. Holy shit, man. We've got the United States. All right, so. They've obviously got fort wagons, which like play a pretty big part of the United States. Is this the same fort? Can some, can anybody confirm? Is this the same fort that is in the, um, is this the same fort that's in the picture? Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. 
oh my god if this is the same fort then it's like it's actually not a, not even a troll where am i going age of empires three patch notes uh aoe three patch notes here age of empires three age of empires three. Oh my god it's so zoomed in I know it's just a normal fort, but you got to understand that when it comes to each civilization, they've got different styling. And someone picked up that this fort could be um, could be indicative of what the civilization is. It looks like a different fort. That looks like a British fort. Yeah, that's a, this is the German fort. That's a British fort. Oh man, I'm so confused now. Isn't it still the Swedish fort? Oh, that's a good point. It might just be the Swedish fort. Yeah, it might not have changed. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's, uh, Nova and Orion. Okay, so very first, we've got the Revolutionary, which I think most civilizations have got. It's kind of like a Corollian. It counters units at range. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm actually fucking, I've got goosebumps right now. Hold on, I need to take a sip. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Let's look at what we've got. So we've got the Revolutionary. Which is like a Corollian. It moves fast. Five movement speed. I think I don't think that's like a standard USA thing. Uh, they've got Ironclads. Now, Ironclads are like a frigate, but instead of having a broadside attack, they've got the monitor attack. So that that is a potential thing. Gatling. Oh, they've got Gatling guns. Okay, let's have a look at the Gatling gun. Is it actually good? Is the Gatling gun actually good? It definitely... It seems very fast. Uh, we need to send citizens. Because I need to build an arsenal. So I can get the... Oh, that's good. I can actually get the movement speed upgrade. 2.76. That's actually pretty quick. Let's take a look and see what he does. I love the way that it... it like. That did a lot of damage, man. 180 damage? Is that 180 base damage? Fatal Quirty saying what's happening. Vividly. Just... Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to post on Reddit. I need I need to make a post on Reddit. I need to let everyone on Reddit know. Age of Empires 3. What's the best booming civ- Codename Buffalo just renamed to United States Civilization. It's here. It's here. It's here. Fucking go right here. It's happening. It's happening. I can't even type like you guys can see I'm trying to type. It's happening. <laughs> go boys, go. Quickly. It's happening. <laughs> is this an April Fool's thing? No, 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 no. No, it's not. This is like the Steam backend. This is the Steam backend. The United States Civilization has been added 50 minutes ago. It was renamed from Buffalo to United States Civilization. It's fucking happening, dude. <laughs> dude it Italian Drongo's in shamble. American Drongo is now the new the new kid on the block. Okay, okay. So they've got the Gatling gun. Click the app ID of the DLC. I don't know if I want to do that. <gasps> what does that say? Is that, that, that is that too big to be United States? It kind of looks like United States. Uh, definitive edition. Uh, it says definitive edition. Fuck, man. It just says definitive edition. Damn it. God. God. Always trolling me. They know my eyes aren't the best. <laughs> oh my god oh logo 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 oh it's literally just the same thing icon 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 is that it look at that face look at that face hey boys oh my god wait i wonder if they did that because of me maybe because i put out that video saying Italian 99% confirmed. Maybe they were like, this guy's like pushing disinformation or we, like we gotta, we gotta stop him from doing it. Like that sort of thing, maybe. The super stunt man saying ego. Yeah, you're right. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. No, it's, it's probably just like developers on the back end. Fawu saying no Iceland. Unfortunately, not Iceland was a uh, an April Fool's gone wrong, gone sexual. The Esty Pessy saying, if after all of this, it's Iceland with igloos, you're an utter genius. <laughs> Gel Cells saying, Microsoft just wanted to make fun of Drago. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be surprised, Gel Cells. Like, you guys just wait. That? All right. We know that this Drongo guy is a bit of a hype guy. He's probably going to post a video posting his suspicions on YouTube. Probably going to do something on Twitch. Wait till he posts. And then as soon as he posts it and commits, we reveal the next sieve. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get into it. I need to determine, is the Gatling gun actually good? Because like, like surely they're going to have Gatling guns. Like Gatling guns are just too fucking cool not to have. They're like organ guns, but I think they're better than organs. So, okay, oh, what, here's, here's a good thing, okay? Look, look at the time it takes for them to, to drop down. Okay, ready? I'm going to hit Q, Q. Is that instant? What the fuck? Is that instant? It's instant, I think. Is it because I've got speed always wins on? Damn it, it's because I've got speed always wins on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Pull, 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 pull. Get out of there, boy. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. It says 4.6 movement speed. Those guys are moving like fucking speedy tuck, tuck, tucks. <laughs> Call minute, man. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They've got um, 16 militiamen. Yeah, we okay. We got to check out everything that they've got. What the heck? I, I we just got so much stuff. All right, let's chuck down a fort. Look at all these cows. What what what's happening? Okay, so we've got the revolutionaries. We've got Minutemen that don't lose HP. Surely that's not going to be a thing. Do you think that could be a thing? That could be a thing. What if they get Minutemen that don't lose HP? Play the historical battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that, that's a good idea. We're going to do that. I just want to check what else they've got. Uh, uh, where's the volunteer? The volunteer is like my favorite thing. Cowboy? Do you reckon they got cowboys? I hope not. Cowboys don't look the best. All right. They don't, look, they don't look very... They, they're underwhelming is the word I would say. Now, where are my volunteers? Do I get volunteers? Because volunteers are the most important unit, IMO. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I do have volunteers up here. Wait, so that means... So if I just, like, put down... Oh, that... Hold on a minute. Okay, you can call Minutemen from your forts. Minutemen from forts. Bro, these things are fucking smoking. Dude, I love the way that they take a knee. Look at the... See them take the knee? Look at the range on these guys. 24 range. Oh, quickly, get the um, get the upgrades. Oh, I want to get all the upgrades. And, and that one probably as well. Uh, probably not this one. Let's get speed always wins going. I'm ready. Dude, 5.5 movement speed. Can you imagine if that's actually like... Bro, look how fast they go. 34 attack. I'll do it. I'm right. 24 range. I'm I think we, we need to get like the line of sight upgrade for these guys. Honestly, line of sight is like the biggest... Look, look how far they can attack. Oh shit, oh shit, shit. Okay, hold on. Wait, four times? They get four times against heavy infantry? They are, oh god, they don't do a lot of damage to the... Oh, oh, that's a legendary axe rider. Don't worry, guys. He's Imperial. Those are legendary club warriors. Bro, they get four times against... Three times against light range cavalry? Okay. I'm sorry. I, I need to build, like, an army of forts. Nova and Orion. Can I, like... Can I get that a couple times? Because then... With that, I can get all my forts. Oh, 
There's too many forts. There's too many forts. So many forts. This is America. Oh, I have to do up a new song. If there, if it's actually America, I have to do a new song for America. They add Africa expansion pack. Look at the Steam DB. No fucking way. You're, you're trolling me at that point. It, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, nice troll. Nice troll. Yeah, nice troll. Bro, look how fast they go. These are skirmishes on steroids, bro. But the, the thing is, they're gonna overkill shit so much. They got crazy stats. Oh, they have a 4.5 rate of fire. No, not like this. No. Look at the rate of fire. Look at the rate of fire that they've got. It's a 4.5 rate of fire. That means you take a shot, you wait 4.5 seconds. Look, ready? Look, 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 look how long they take to shoot. Boom. Yeah, wh why are you flaring up here, Gaul? He's got the bug, he's got the bug. That's Gaul. Oh my god, these, these are so sick. Okay, hold on, check this out. Okay, attack move is not working. Look how long they take to shoot. I think you gotta like... We're gonna get fucking wrecked. Okay. Alright, let's go play that historical battle. Very micro heavy units. They're women and children! They have no HP. Yeah, true. Uh, okay, historical battle. When is it released? Uh, well, we should know on April 10. I'm- I'm so fucking pog right now. It's the last historical battle. That's okay, that's not a problem. You know why? Because we've got our VIP in here who taught me the- the secret to campaigns. Tatars are everywhere. Do not disembark here. We must sail on. It's too hard. No, it's just too hard. This is too hard. Yes! Got it. Nailed it. They changed the name back to Buffalo? <gasps> oh, they did too. But it still says United States Civilization. leaked someone did a doo-doo they got leaked vividly was on the case they're watching your stream says gaix <laughs> probably man probably the sieve is us at the moment xerxes it looks like it's probably going to be the us yeah at the moment yeah it's april's fools bro they they wouldn't troll in steam updates like that you you when you troll like that you troll overtly you're like, we are proud to announce. Lads, we come here to raid these Spanish devils and plunder their riches for our beloved England and our good queen, Bess. You guys heard, you guys heard Francis Drake, but unfortunately this is too hard. Maybe Vividly is an insider guy. Yeah, it could be. That's a good point. Yeah. But, how, but that's a public website though. If that's a public website picking up the back end, then 
fix flare bug, please. Uh, Har Harrison is like uh, assuming that they're watching. <laughs> oh, can you do the same for Age of Empires 2? Good point. What about Age of Empires 2? Age of Empires 2. Definitive edition. How do, how do you see the... Oh, you got a good DLC. DLC, DLC. Nah, they don't have anything. This is... This is last month. This is 11 days ago. They're, I think they're different devs, aren't they? Yeah, one's Tantalus, one's Forgotten Empires. <gasps> but last recorded update is two hours ago. It doesn't say, though. It doesn't say that... They removed it. Yeah, they probably removed it as well. Maybe we... Ch let's check the, um... Let's check the Age of Empires 2 Reddit. Maybe the Age of Empires 2 Reddit has, has it as well. Good and new. 17 minutes, 45 minutes. No one else has had it. Is that, is that Age of Empires 3? Codename Buffalo just renamed to United States Civilization. Disgusting. Disgusting. So that's still there. Weird, man. Who's Keaton? That's me. After plundering the Spanish Caribbean colonies, Sir Francis Drake sailed north. That's my to name. Replenish the English my, my first name is Rome. Keaton. From there, he returned to England, receiving a hero's welcome. Oh, that's However, them. Is that them? His return was bittersweet. War had come, and the Spanish mustered a great armada to invade England itself. As Vice Admiral of the English fleet, Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry. Is it because you abu abuse ketamine? <laughs> I don't think so. True Xerxes saying, you don't sound like a Keaton. Well, Xerxes, I may be a sheep in wolves' clothing. Think about me like that, alright? We could be getting USA, Italy, and Ethiopia. There's no way they... That, do you know how much work that is? That's so much work, man. Come on, serial killers. You gotta be real, bro. That's a lot of work. Was his name... Was this name already known? Uh, I mean, if people ask me, I'll, I'll tell you what my name is. ...with this little thought that they call Thought Prince George. When we conquer it, we will be able to protect New France from these encroaching British colonials. <laughs> this, this accent. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Keaton. Je habite New France. Uh, this is too hard. River Fock. Yeah, that's what I thought he said. River Fock. Oh, no, it is River Fock. I mean, in Age of Empires 2, there are already three Civs expansion DLCs. Yeah, but you got to remember, Age of Empires 2 are a lot more... Um, uh, a lot more simple and a lot more easy. After the contra and it's literally like uh, in Age of Empires 3. Battle of New Orleans. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. All right, are you guys ready for it? Are you guys ready for this? Papa CEO says, wait. G'day, fellas. Welcome to another YouTube video. This one is going live. Uh, we're doing it over on Twitch at the moment. Uh, if if you're on Twitch... Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, let's, let's, let's shoot that again. G'day, fellas. Welcome to another video. Yesterday, I posted up a video saying 99% Italy confirmed overnight. One of the uh, the members of my community, Vividly Plain, pointed out to me, Drongo, on the back end, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. A new update has happened. Buffalo has been renamed to United States Civilization. Now, the, the, the name actually was appearing here, but you can see it says last update seven minutes ago. They changed it back to Buffalo, but you can see it still says United Civilization. 
uh, United States Civilization. If you go in, you can see Age of Empires Definitive Edition. It's got the the uh, the little dude with the the flag, the the American flag. Uh, I, I've tried going through these. They're they're all quite similar. We can't get this any bigger. This is about the biggest it will go. It won't go any bigger than that. So you can zoom in on it, but it's just the flag that says Definitive Edition. So don't don't go crazy trying to analyze that. But look at, at this stage and then over on reddit someone else has also realized that they've posted it as well so at this stage we're assuming that buffalo is indeed the united states civilization it was probably accidentally updated by somebody on the back end and it was picked up by this website steam db uh so <laughs> it turns out uh, we didn't have Italy. We actually have the United States. And so now I've just gone through, I've updated, uploaded all, or uploaded, I've, uh, I've finished all the historic battles. I did that completely legitimately. I didn't use any cheats to get to the Battle of New Orleans because the Battle of New Orleans has actually got the United States civilization in there. Someone said that this is a, uh, a, a fully fleshed out version of the United States. So we're going to go in, we're going to have a look. We can actually see, or if we hit begin, uh, we've already got some units that, that look quite familiar. Someone says, it's a trap, April Fools. No, my friend, this is not April Fools. This is the 3rd of April. Uh, at least it is for me. It'd be the 2nd of April. Anywhere else in the world. Let's watch. Let's see what they've got. General, militia from Louisiana, Tennessee. Oh. Be report for duty. Men are ready for inspection. Quick, let me in. I'll bring news and demand to see the general. General, the British are preparing for battle. They will soon launch their attack. Tennessee. Look at those muskets, those redcoats. We will give them an explosive American reception. Lieutenant, form up the man that unlimber the cannons. Let's get to it, boys. All right, let's take a look and see what we can find. Look at that beautiful flag. Do you reckon that's going to be their flag? How many states are on there? One, two, three, four. I'm not very good at counting. I think that's at least four. What else have we got? I'm trying to look and see if we can spot anything that's different. These are called regulars. So the, these are the guys from the um, from the picture. Yes. Oh, they sound English, but very slightly American. I'll do it. I'm going now. Right. Garja says, if it's USA, I'll be disappointed. I don't know why you'd be disappointed. That's. Do you have any idea how awesome that is when you think about it? Okay. I'm going now. I'm ready. You've got the volunteer here as well. The volunteer. Fuck. I hope they have the volunteer. Look how awesome the volunteer is, man. 30 range or 30 range attack 24 range the reason why america is is would be so cool or not not america okay the united states would be so cool is because you need to think about it right this is how many stars are on this flag okay right now in in the united states you've got you know what is it more than 50 states that are there the united states is a story right like it is a country that has been built from the ground up like don't get me wrong obviously there were natives that lived there prior but the modern United States is something that has formed over, you know, hundreds of years. And it, it got to this point now where there, there are slowly states joining it to become united amongst the states, you know, really vying to have that independence from the colonies and, and really create a country. And so for me, that, that, that would be like, it is almost the pinnacle of what you would want. It, it, it makes total sense to be in there. Someone asking, do you get a bonus versus native units? <laughs> Fedulsus, no Fedulsus. It's 2021, you can't talk about that. Stop that. <laughs> All right, let's check out what other units they've got. So they've got, uh, at the moment, they've got the regular and they've got the volunteer. So the regular is a, it looks like a Corollian with a lot of health, man. Look at that, 280 health. And we've got the volunteer, which is a skirmisher, really fast skirmisher. I'm ready. Uh, we've got the yes, falconet. I'm, right. I'm going now. Oh my god, listen to that voice. Right. I'll do it. Right. I'll do it. I'm going now. Yes. I'll do it. And we've got General Jackson. General I Jackson. It done. He can build a trading post, rough and tumble, rough and tumble. Oh, you use the old hickory ability? Greatly increases the hit points of your units to stand ground like an old hickory. What do we have here? Seven regulars, nine volunteers. They have horse artillery. They have concrete rockets. Because we are in the industrial age. Fort tower? Do you think they get fort towers? 
What is this? It's 300 wood. Look how much health it's got. 40 range. Oh my God. Fitzbro. I hope you're not looking at this, man. Fitzbro, if you're looking at this, you're going to just die. 5,000 health, 300 wood, 40, 40 ranged attack. I think the fort tower is just for the scenario. I hope so, man. Okay. I hope so. I hope so. So we've got that. We've also got units. We've got the Dragoon and we've got the Hussar uh, artillery. We've still got those concrete rockets coming in. We've got Minutemen, Settlers. Yes. So the rockets, right. I think they're just the same as the standard right. British rockets. Let's check and see. They do look the same as the standard British rockets. <laughs> the natives. <laughs> what, what else is there that we could check out? What are the description of barracks units? Let me have a look. Solid general purpose infantry, good against cavalry. Skirmisher with low hit points, but a strong attack, good against infantry. Oh, look at the cost of that. Oh, that's expensive. Not really. It's very coin heavy, though. Did the USA use concrete rockets? I don't know. Oh my, look how expensive regulars are. Oh my god. Do you think that's actually real? 25 coin more than a musketeer. How much? Let's have a look at their stats. They do have a lot of HP. They have like double the HP of a musket. Bro, that's totally insane. If that's actually... Imagine if they get those. Holy shit. I can't believe this got leaked. Leaked? Is that the best word? I don't know if I'd say leaked. Leaked is like someone maliciously doing it. That's like... I feel like that's not... I wouldn't say incompetence, but like accidental. Someone's like accidentally got that through. 0% chance these come out as is. I'm ready. I mean, it's the best that we've got. And we can definitely see that our, our man with the, the white pants out. and the black shoes is right here. He looks a little bit different. General, the British are coming. Oh, God. I hope we're ready. This is too hard. On like a let's go. Let's go to the next one. Let's see if there's any new units uh, in the next campaign. Kardaloff saying, I still don't believe USA. We'll see, we'll see. We're the just The Battle of New Orleans was an important victory for the young American nation. However, unknown to the soldiers fighting at New Orleans, the United States and the United Kingdom had already brokered a peace treaty prior to the battle. The message had merely not reached the Americas yet. Wow. Is that true? The Treaty of Ghent ended the exhausting war. And with it, the feud that had raged since America's Declaration of Independence. A delicate peace between the former colony and its former colonizer eventually blossomed into friendship and alliance between the two nations. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you, that you've enjoyed this brief look into what potentially, I, I would almost say certainly, is going to be the next civilization. I, I tell you what, guys. Okay, if it's actually the United States, I'm going to be so freaking hyped. I, I can't tell you how awesome that's going to be because I don't want another European civilization. There are already nine European civilizations, okay? And I've mastered them all. I, I would love another native civilization. I'd love another Asian civilization. But this is like, this is a cherry on top. Like, I, I can't explain how awesome the United States would actually be. I can't, I can't, man, I can't even fathom that. How are they going to work? Like the mechanics of them. Because 